Dear Church, we congratulate you on this celebration, on this holiday. And let's give a hand to God. Hallelujah. He is amazing. And uh, birthday is a great celebration. Despite all the destination, still we are gathering here together to share this victory, to share this joy, and sometimes even to share some griefs, but still in crisis there is a victory. And uh, uh, right now I want to invite people to testify, and I want, uh, I want to ask you to open your hearts. If you are ready for getting gifts, then be ready, and please take your seats. Those who came to testify, please come up here. Good afternoon, dear church. My name is Valeria, and I came here to testify about God's glory in my life. I'm former drug addicted, and I t drug for 12 years. I was in prison for three years, and when I was in prison for the last time, I got to be. It was a great, uh, it was a big disease in my life and everything was bad and no one needed me. But God came into my life. I came to the rehabilitation center. I started to serve the Lord. And four years and a half, I had this uh, terrible disease to be. And I couldn't get rid of this disease. I was uh, under treatment all the time. I continued to serve at the rehabilitation center and uh, my life was the same actually. I got up in the morning, I got injections from this TB, then I continued to serve. So all the time I was in this disease, I was, uh, I felt bad, but I continued to serve. But uh, soon God showed me a great miracle he showed me a future wife my future wife and when i came to my wife i told her that uh, god showed me that you would be my wife and she says that god told me that my husband would be a healthy person at that time i had tb and uh, i got ta uh, d i uh, drank tablets in a month i went to give analysis and analysis showed that i was healed that i was healthy so one year and a half i am married i am healthy we have a great family i love my wife very much we came through all the schools we did everything we come come through all the traditions of our church i'm healed i have this great healing in my church in my life actually i can speak a lot about uh, god's miracles i served uh, at reputation center i also the general director of uh, the Organi private organization. I am the director of social organization. I also work with state authorities and I can speak a lot, a lot, a lot about God's miracle in my life, about what he does in my life. He does great things. And pastor came with me onto the stage and she can support my wor words. She can say that it's really true and this is God who gave all this, in, uh, who gave all this to me. My name is Christina. I am the leader of Valeri and uh, it's really so i remember when he came he was fighting with this uh, disease and uh, you know what helped him to d to defeat this uh, disease is his uh, ministry despite everything he continued to serve he was in rehabilitation center in Vinica in ukraine he continued to serve he took tablets it's true but he was praying he trusted lord and god showed great miracle for him so let's praise the lord for this it's a great testimony and it's worthy of your applause. Good evening, dear church. Happy birthday. My name is Sergei. This is my wife, Nadezhda, and this is my son, Miroslav. We have a great testimony of God's uh, glory. The prehistory three years ago, when I, uh, there was a crisis, uh, economical crisis, we uh, took a loan from the bank and we invested the money and we lost the money. And at that time it was a hard time for us, uh, but God uh, helped us to react in a, in, a real, in a good way on all this. So we continued to be obedient to pastor. We wrote down different tasks that pastor gave us. Then we were in home group of pastor Sunday. And you know, in one of the home groups of pastor, there was 
uh, uh, teachings about the opportunities. And you know, I even didn't notice how we uh, started to, to have uh, some opportunities and one of them was to take a flat, uh, to buy a flat for a not high price. So we made decision very quickly. We had only one month for this uh, and uh, we had this word for opportunity. So we got it uh, like an opportunity and we decided to buy this flat. So we had some concrete sum of money and just as we got that agreement for the flat, we knew that my wife is pregnant. And because uh, she was in not uh, in, she was in a hard condition uh, when she was pregnant and uh, she had to leave her job. So it was not so easy for us in f with finances. But you know, last year it was la la year of God's presence and he really visited us. We now have a healthy son. Our son was born completely healthy. Also, we gave all gave money back for the flat. We repaired the flat. We live there. So we found the money for all this. So, you know, glory to God. We thank God for this. Actually, you know, I also was drug addicted. I used drugs for uh, several years. And God's glory was for me when uh, my son was born, being completely healthy without any pa pathology and so on. Thank you very much. My name is Emiliana Jana. I had 20 years of, uh, my husband had 20 years of alcohol addiction and that's why our family was completely broken. I was in depression for many years and I couldn't sleep at night because I didn't see the way out and I didn't believe that actually something good can be in my life. I was 30 years but I didn't have any good job, any education, I didn't have any money, I didn't have any opportunity to uh, raise my uh, children and I didn't have any future, uh, neither me nor my family had future but God came into my life and you know what God gave me? He gave my husband freedom, he set uh, him free from addiction so now he is not just uh, a free person he everyone denied him and even uh, close people of him they didn't want to uh, talk to him but now he is the leader of rehabilitation center he got rid of that addiction he is the minister it's a great miracle of god i didn't have education but now i'm studying at the university and the university and uh, I study for free. I didn't have money, I didn't have job, but now we have business. Before I couldn't sleep, but now I can, I have a good sleep. I have peace inside of me. I have joy and all the things are great. I have future, I have hope, and I know that all this that I have is given to me by God. And I know that everything is thanks to Pastor Sunday. It's everything is thanks to my pastor as well, to Pastor Roman Trochin, who is standing near me. And for us, he is a great example of Christianity, a good example. Pastor, I'm very thankful to you and from my on behalf of myself and my family. Yes, really, brothers and sisters, God is great. He is he's wonderful when Anya and her husband came to church it was a broken family uh, husband uh, drank alcohol and uh, wife felt this great pain but God is great he recreated the family and uh, that's God's glory and what Anya told it actually you know she's shy because God did even more in her life and ma very many uh, glory can be very much glory can be seen in their lives praise the Lord for them Thank you very much for your testimonies. And now we have friends. We have friends that have come to congratulate us. So who've, co who've come to congratulate us? I would like to give the word uh, to our guests. And I, I'm ready to give the word to pastor from the USA. Let us greet him. Welcome. Hallelujah. 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 Congratulations on your 18th year anniversary, Embassy of God. We bring you greetings from the United States of America. 
И мы передаем привет от всех Соединенных Штатов Америки. Especially from the faith leaders. И особенно от лидеров церквей. And the churches that have been greatly impacted by you, the Embassy of God and Pastor Sunday. И особенно церквей, которые под влиянием посольства Божьего. As you very well know, и как вы знаете очень хорошо, America is a nation that is founded on godly principles. Что Америка основана, это нация, которая основана на Божьих принципах. And like we heard this morning, и как мы слышали утром, no wonder it is great. No wonder it is great. The nation is great. Да, что эта нация, это чудесная нация. However, in recent years, но недавно, до недавних пор, we've seen an accelerated, rapid decline of a great nation. Мы видим, как большая нация, она просто идет вниз по нисходящей лестнице. And while all this was going on, the church, the body of Christ, was huddled together inside the church buildings. И все церкви они остаются и не собираются только внутри церкви, не выходят за стены церкви. Pretending that everything was okay. И притворяются, что как будто все прекрасно. Они прославляют Бога, поклоняются, говорят, что все прекрасно, все хорошо. But God in His infinite mercy, но Бог со своей мудростью, opened the eyes of a man, открыл глаза некоторым людям, to see the decadence that was coming to our nation. Видеть то, что надвигается на нашу нацию. While we all were busy building our churches, и пока мы строим наши церкви, prayer and everything that represented God was taken away from every sphere of influence. Вы знаете, что молитва и все, что представляет настоящее царство Божье, оно уходит из церквей, уходит из нашей нации. To a point where even we're not even allowed to pray in public. To a point we can't even pray freely in public. Даже до того, до, до тех пор доходит, что мы не можем уже молиться свободно, как это было раньше. In 2008, и в 2008 году, Pastor Sunday, Pastor Sunday, birth of vision, он принес это видение, called Church Shift, и оно называется реформация. The book Church Shift was launched in Atlanta. Вы знаете, что книга реформация на английском Church Shift, она была Публикация ее была в Атланте, и презентация в Атланте. And hundreds of churches and leaders gathered in Atlanta. И в Атланте в то время сотни лидеров церквей по всей Соединенных Штатах они собрались, чтобы быть на презентации этой книги. Because as Pastor Sunday often told us, и когда пастор Сандей сказал нам, as America goes, куда идет Америка, so goes the rest of the world. Весь мир туда же идет. And yet we're not surprised. И конечно мы не удивлены. That it was immediately after this happened that this persecution began. We understand clearly without a shadow of a doubt. We understand clearly without a shadow of a doubt. Вы знаете, что без всякого сомнения мы четко понимаем, that what this church is going through today, что сегодня то, что проходит церковь наша, по сути, это не just about you. Это не то, не просто. Касается только вас. It's about the destiny of nations. Это касается судьбы всех наций, including America. И также включая Америку. What you are going through today? И то, что вы проходите сегодня. It's a price that a local church needs to pay. Это то та цена, которую каждая локаль поместная церковь должна заплатить. Because you are the model. Потому что вы есть модель of the 21st century church. Церкви 21-го столетия. So we come here to say thank you so much for your many sacrifices. И мы приехали сегодня издалека, чтобы сказать вам спасибо вам большое за эту великую жертву. Thank you so much for the seed that you've sown into our nation. Спасибо большое за то семя, которое вы сеете в эти нации. America will never be the same. И Америка не останется прежней. Pastor Sunday. Pastor Sunday. We want to let you know, sir. We want to let you know that it doesn't matter what happens in the Ukraine. You have sons that will not let you down. It is too late for the devil to keep having our children and our sphere of influence. You may not be in America today и вы сегодня не в Америке, но есть сотни сыновей, которые вы уже подняли. И я один из них, который стою здесь. И благодарю вас. Благодарю. Я 
I joined Pastor Dala. И я присоединяюсь к пастору Дале. In greeting you all. Поздравляю всех вас. For a very wonderful event. За это прекрасное чудное мероприятие. Your 18th anniversary. Ваше 18-е годовщина. I've been born again. Я родилась свыше. For almost 30 years. Где-то около 30 лет назад. But I have never seen. Но я никогда не видела людей, которые любят Бога, как вы. Вчера я была испытана. Я плакала. Я видела молодых людей. Я видела пожилых людей. Я видела детей, которые танцуют вот здесь, возле сцены, потому что они любят Бога. И вчера я поняла, как Давид мог тогда танцевать и в своей льняной одежде. И вчера я видела, что это возможно. For your clothes to fall off. Когда вы что вы можете так танцевать, что просто ваши одежды спадают из вас. While you are dancing. Пока вы танцуете. What you have in this church. То, что вы имеете в этой церкви. Is precious. Это такое драгоценное. Guard it. И просто держите это. Don't let anything corrupt it. Просто не дайте, чтобы кто-то украл у вас это. You have a love from the heart. У вас есть настоящая любовь для Иисуса Христа. Вы знаете, у нас нет этого, к сожалению. Но мы возьмем это назад в Америку. Мы возьмем назад это в Америку. Мы возьмем это назад в Америку. Я очень хочу поблагодарить Бога за пастора Сандея. Вы знаете, когда пастор Босса это утро стоял здесь, и сказала, что пастор Сандей сейчас в милиции. Я не могла понять. Потому что я думала, я не понимаю, что происходит с пастором Сандей. И когда он вошел, и он продолжил, как будто бы ничего не произошло. Я тогда вообще не поняла вообще Что это за человек? И вы не шокированы. Но после допроса он не переживает, он пришел и он продолжает, как будто бы ничего и не было. Вы знаете, вам нужно ободривать своего пастора. Нужно поддерживать его. Просто поддерживайте его руки. Это нелегко. Это нелегко. Но Бог дает ему силу. И Бог будет продолжать поддерживать его. Это очень поздно для дьявола. Если они смогут, если они до сих пор не смогли его забрать, это значит, что они вообще его уже не заберут. Очень поздно уже. Очень поздно для врагов. Очень поздно для врагов. Я хочу поблагодарить Бога за его жизнь. Два года назад я проходила сквозь трудности. И он, и он общался со мной на протяжении целого часа. Потому что он понимает боль. То, что он проходит, это не только для вас. Это для всех нас. Это цена для всего мира. Вы не можете утешить людей, пока вы не будете утешены. И Бог поднимает его быть генералом, быть генералом утешения этого поколения. И этим вечером я благодарна за эту привилегию. За, благодарна за этого лидера, за то, что мы имеем лидера, как пастор Сандей. Him, Если вы его не цените, мы заберем его в Америку. Him, Если вы не будете идти за ним, мы заберем его в Америку. Вы хотите, чтобы мы его забрали? Вы 
Может быть, вы все-таки хотите, чтобы мы его забрали? Thank you very much. Благодарю. Пусть Бог благословит вас. Okay, let us welcome Pastor Natalia and her team from Germany. Let's welcome, let's welcome. Faster, faster. Pastor Sunday, almost seven years ago, I went to Germany, and uh, during the uh, 11th of our anniversary, I made such a small report of my work that I've done here in Ukraine. And now, uh, on this 18th anniversary, I want to give a short, a brief report for that work that I've done in Germany during six years. So now uh, we, you can see that we are symbolizing the uh, German sheep who came here to Ukraine to give a, a brief report. I can't see everyone who needs to speak. So all the directions, please come up front and Pastor Vera, who will represent all of this, who will present all of this. Please come up here. They want uh, to, to make uh, a flag, to be as a flag. Okay, let's welcome them. They are so bright, and uh, you know, uh, German flag is really very nice and bright, and can uh, show all my life. At first, uh, you know, dark darkness, then the blood of God, and then like a small chicken or like a small bird who was uh, who was born. So, dear church, we congratulate you from all of people from Germany with this 18th, on this 18th anniversary, and we are very happy to have such an opportunity to be a part of this church, to, uh, to stand on this stage and welcome you on behalf of the ho of whole Germany, because uh, our church is not just a local church. For us, church is a whole country, and exactly these principles uh, we are learning from Pastor Sunday and during home groups, uh, that uh, we are conducting with Pastor Tapa. And now they will give a brief report for you to see. You know, as a mom, I like, uh, I like to give them a word for them to speak and for everyone could admire them. And especially, they are very happy and I'm happy with them when they are standing in front of our spiritual father, Father Pastor Sunday, and uh, our spiritual mother, uh, Pastor Bosse. Okay, Pastor Vera, please take a mic and please give us uh, one another mic. Give us another mic.
Dear Church, we congratulate us on this 18th anniversary, on this full age. And right now, uh, given this small presentation, we want to tell you what what God has done and and what our uh, pa uh, our pastors have done during these six years. It's a small part, but I think that uh, such a great delegation uh, to come here is really a sign because uh, you know that where is Pastor Natalia, then there is unity, there is work, there is a movement. That is why I want to give a word uh, to present uh, the work in sphere of culture and uh, education just give uh, at first give some statistics okay first of all pastor sunday i want to say that uh, m uh, much more people would come but uh, there is a crisis in country and one uh, uh, avia company was bankrupt so uh, here are twice less people than should be here Good evening, dear church. We congratulate everyone on anniversary and we would like to show what just one person can do, the person that heard the voice of God. Whom should I send? send? Thanks to the new teachings of Pastor of God Embassy Church that Pastor Tope and Pastor Natalia brought, our churches became actual. It means that the churches are developing all the time this these people taught us to love God to move on the right direction to fulfill the purposes so we are ready to go outside the church so that to bring the principles of kingdom of God I am the pastor of uh, God Embassy Church in Germany I am the leader of the cultural center in Germany. I represent the work in the sphere of culture in Germany. You are like an army, you know, well done. Everything is clear, everything in the order. Pastor Natalia, I can see your handwriting. For 2011, through cultural sphere, sport, we influenced more than 300,000 people. Through the actions, through the schools, sport events, we work over the changing of the country. We opened two educational centers in which more than 100 children study and parents attended as well. We opened five theaters for children. In five cities of Germany, we influenced more than 2,000 people. We also have sport clubs in which we have sportsmen from different countries. And in this sport club, we organize preventive measures among young people. We influenced more, many people, more than 1,000 people, and uh, won 25 rewards. We also have a club that leader of this of each is the champion boxer champion who was the champion of 2011 he's actually from ukraine his name is hatchik and not long ago he came into our church and now he makes an influence upon young people and he shows that uh, without drugs and alcohol, there is a healthy way of life and uh, you can live without uh, drugs and alcohol. And in 2011, he was rewarded and uh, uh, all the central uh, newspapers of Germany were speaking about him. The members of the Embassy of God Church in Germany uh, went into two social lobbies. Uh, it is... Uh, um, and also there is an active cooperation with administration of cities and other social organizations. And uh, uh, the participation of all the social organizations Now there is an auction in Ukraine, in, uh, in Germany and uh, we are standing uh, uh, for 
we are standing against the gender politics and uh, uh, we are standing for um, for the uh, uh, movement for uh, for children Now we would like to introduce the work with the citizens of Germany and this work is organized by the people who also worked with rehabilitation centers. Good evening dear church. We My name is Eugene and I congratulate you on the 18th anniversary. I would like to speak in several words about myself. I used drugs for 10 years and I was in prison for five years. And it was such a moment in my life when I couldn't see the way out. Out of 10 years of addiction, I was looking for the way out for nine years, but I couldn't find it. And when Pastor Natalia came to Germany and I heard about her results, it touched me. And then I took my things and I went to rehabilitation center. Nowadays, I have been in freedom for six years. I'm leading the healthy way of life. And I would like to present the work with the citizens of Germany. In 2011, we organized 12 charitable actions through our social organization. We organized two clubs With the help of these clubs, we covered 543 people. Out of this number, 28 people are very active. And we met with these people at the international holiday. We met the mayor of our region at one of the international holidays. And we influenced 300 people. Also, this club produced another club that is called "Let's Have a Meal, uh, Let's Have Breakfast Together." And with the help of this club, we work with 50 people who study the uh, elementary lessons uh, about Jesus Christ. 12,000 people knew about our activity. You know, on the basis of the saloon of uh, beds for massage, we started to have a church. Church, I'd like to listen to what is going on in, in favor, you know, because six year, six year, it's not a term, it's not a big term. But for six years to create such a church, it's something. And it is even not only one church. There are many churches in different cities of Germany. And such a big influence. What is six years? The whole world will be saved. Good evening, dear church. My name is Ala, and I am the director of the women's movement in Germany. 
in European Center success. Our movement is called to solve the problems of women like low self-esteem, depressions, divorces, civil marriages. We registered a social organization and also we opened the club cafe which is called the keys to the success of women. Now it's like a club activity in Germany and through these activities all in all we influenced 800 women. And also we organized for this time six charitable actions in many cities of Germany. And with the help of these actions, we influence 140,000 people. Also as the instrument to attract people from the world, we used um, women's educational retreats and 120 women attended educational retreats for women uh, and this retreat was attended both by Christian and not Christians and one of our organization also represented its, uh, its work in the European Parliament on the third forum of business women and the same in the same in such a way we influenced more than 150,000 people God is alive well done I would like to pastor you know this is the example how we should do presentation that's great pastor I would like to address the church please I understand that you're all encouraged rehab center but please stop walking there behind the church please come down because they look at you and and they feel lost it seems that it seems that um, you didn't listen to them and it's not interesting, so please don't walk behind there. Dear Church, I would like to congratulate all us on this great holiday. My name is Pastor Vladimir. I would like to report about the six years time 360 people came to rehabilitation center from different European countries and from America. 120 got complete freedom from their addictions. Six months ago we opened one more rehabilitation center in Berlin city in Germany. 120 people graduated rehabilitation center and out of these people there are two pastors five of them are getting ready to be blessed to serve two persons entered the political the leading political party of the country three persons entered the higher educational institutes all glory to God tell about yourself who are you I am pastor Vladimir I took drugs for 11 years my life was completely broken I went everywhere for help I tried to use everything that exists in Germany and one of the centers that helps to drug addicted suggested me suggested me a special drug so for seven years I used that drug like sometimes it is used for treating for treating but as a result, I realized that only God Embassy Church could save me because I could get rid of my addiction only with the help of the church, only when I got to the God Embassy Church. So, you know, German, Germany is drowning in drugs. 
And Pastor Natalia, I'm very thankful to you. I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks to her, I got freedom from addiction. From addiction, my brother got freedom from addiction. My whole family was restored. All glory to God. I love you, Church. I congratulate you. Thank you very much. Good evening, dear Church. Happy anniversary. My name is Pastor Jakob. I'm the pastor of one of the cities, and I would like to present the movement Golden Autumn. Perhaps you can, uh, you can understand this is the work with the elderly people. Say when you opened, what did you do? Say how many years you are a pastor when the church was open. Our church is uh, five years old. Me and my wife, we are the pastors of this church. This is not a big city in which we serve, but it's very beautiful and we can live there, we can serve Lord there. And for today, we entered 22 houses for the elderly. We work in several directions. We attend houses for the elderly people. We work with the, through the clubs, through the charitable actions, and through the social organizations. And for 2011, we say help to come to Jesus. 2,500, uh, 2,400 uh, 2, people. Some houses for the elderly people are attended by us every day and we speak about God with them because these are the people who are very soon will come the eternity and one of the houses for the elderly was called by us the way to heaven good evening church my name is Vitali I will represent I will present the work with young people in Germany. We have club of uh, table tennis. We ex have uh, existed for one year and we influenced 60 years. This influence gave birth to another uh, to another uh, movement puppet theater. And out of this uh, organization, we also have another direction, which is called the uh, History Makers. Also, for one year, we have organized home groups for young people, and we influence also y many young people. As the instrument to influence young people, we organize discos, and also we organize talk shows at schools. And we influenced, uh, with the help of TV, we influenced 3 million people. Can you imagine how it is in Germany for three months together? How many active people uh, did you collect? We collect 12 active people who were ready to serve with us. And you know, it's very difficult in Germany because sometimes for one year, only several people uh, are ready to repent. We speak about the healthy way of life. We uh, also are planning to open one more uh, social organization and school for young people. Pastor Sunday, we got a small present for you from our history makers. They uh, didn't have an opportunity to come, but they are with us. And this is the present for you. These are German people here on this present. And also shortly, I would like to say about myself, uh, I took drugs for five years. Also, I was in prison. And in Germany, I got a document that uh, says that I am not allowed to work with young people, with children. I cannot talk to them because I was socially dangerous. But now I'm the leader of this club for young people.
And these are the local children who very often come to us and they started from Yulia Renner, they started to attract the children and they attracted them with puppet theaters, they started to write different performances and through these performances we speak about the principles of Kingdom of God and many children repent and they started to attend uh, first lessons with Jesus about uh, uh, the Bible and about the God so you know it's a big history it's a big victory because in this young generation they, we have future of the whole Germany. The main direction of the young organization, the future in our hands, is puppet theater, and this is a social young project. The dolls that you can see, these are the main characters of our theater. With the help of them, we show the uh, good things that defeat evil. And as Pastor Sunday told yesterday, the only weapon that defeats evil is good thing, good things. So we use this instrument. With the help of performances on the high level, we spread the good values. Also, our people attend children's houses, hospitals for children, children's kindergarten, children's playgrounds, houses for the elderly, and it is all around the Germany. Also, we were present at the opening of the House of Art in our country, and the mayor of the city was at this, uh, at this event and 200 people were at this event. And we believe that it's a great opportunity. it was a great opportunity for us and we could influence many people. And we believe that future is in our hands. My name is Dima. I am the former drug addicted and now I'm free. But you know, to get freedom, it is not all. It's... Uh, not the most important thing. The most important thing is to succeed, to fulfill God's calling. And God Embassy Church is the place where every person can find himself. It's a great honor for me to stand on this place. I'm a former drug addict, but nowadays I'm the pastor of God Embassy Church in Luberhaus in Germany. And thank God for this. I would like to testify about one of the directions that Pastor Natalia, as a faithful disciple of Pastor Sunday, started in Germany. This is home group. Home group that is uh, led in Germany. And actually, we have home groups uh, of the same format as Pastor Sunday has here. And this year, she, we started these home groups last year. and. This year, 50 people were registered on this home group, but only 26 people could come to the end, you know. We wrote all the five leadership schools uh, that Pastor has for you as well here. And I was one of those people who came to the end, who f completed all the tasks. And you know, with the help of this home group, my life was changed completely. Thanks to the home group that Pastor Natalia started on the f uh, example of Pastor Sunday. You know, I often heard to the preachings of Pastor Sunday and to many other preachers, and I heard that the church of the 21st century, this is the church without walls, this is the church that should go outside. And I was uh, listening to this again and again, but I couldn't accept it. Uh, I was sitting all the time in the church and I had only one person to bring more and more people into the church. And I was trying to do it all the time, but I saw that uh, people do not come in. They do not start attending it, uh, no matter how hard I try. But thanks to, the, to this home group, you know, Pastor Natasha, what did she do? Through the teachings, through the preachings, through the home tasks that she gives us. You know, it makes you leave the zone of comfort. So now I can say that I am the new wine skin for the new wine. And thanks 
to this home group, I'm speaking about myself now, for this one year, I was changed. My church was changed. For one year, you know, we entered the young church, the church for the young people. We entered seven houses for the elderly. Thank God. I understand that maybe for you, it's not a testimony. But for the person, and if you were in Germany, you would understand what I'm talking about. The churches there, you know, like in the Middle Ages, you know, people are sitting in their churches and they don't go outside. Leaders, pastors, they sit inside the church. But for this year, we entered the how, uh, seven houses for the elderly. Then we also entered the television, local television, you know. For me, it's a great testimony. It's a glory to God. We were shown on the local television, and with the help of this, we influenced the quarter of a million of people. And um, on this TV program, on that video show, it was said we were shown, and um, the work that we organized was shown, our charitable uh, actions. And we entered the houses for the elderly, and the local television showed all the things. You know, it is not allowed to enter the uh, houses for the elderly. You need special allowance. It's Germany. It's not so easy there. And when Dima started to attend home group, actually, in a short period of time, he said, like, I felt like uh, curtains were open. And I remember when Pastor Natalia told me, Dima, it's a revival. And I felt like I woke up. I felt like I was sleeping and now I woke up. I was trying to fulfill my own aims, but now I woke up. I realized that I have to go outside, that I have to influence people on the place where they are, not to invite them all the time into the church and keep inviting them all the time, but go to them where they are, to go to the drug addicts on the places where they are to go to the homeless people where they are, to go to the uh, elderly people where they are. For many of us, I know how it is in Ukraine, but in Germany, but in Germany, we worried how will we be able to come on television because one, two minutes, it's, it's too expensive. But we were shown on TV for free. Can you imagine? We were shown uh, how we entered the, the houses for the elderly for free, completely. And it was shown everything, what our church does. And this show was put on television at the ideal time. It was during the evening news, the time when most of the people watch TV. So thank God for that. And I'm thankful to God. I'm thankful to the Lord for the God Embassy Church, for Pastor Sunday. And I thank God that Pastor Sunday could accept that vision from Lord, this uh, revelation about the church, because you have to be brave for this, courageous. And thanks to Pastor Natalia that he pushes us to move forward, that he makes us move forward, not to live for ourselves, but live for people, live for Germany. Amen. Thank you, Dima. Good evening, dear church. I would like to congratulate you on the full age anniversary and I would like to present the work of Press Center. The Church of the 21st century is the church that influences modern equipment for communication with people, not only inside the church but also outside it. The Press Center uses such instruments for communication as first in the Internet. We created 12 websites which influences social nets and we influenced more than 593 thousand people also another instrument is the testimonies about God on YouTube 
and uh, these testimonies were heard by more than 386,000 visitors. Another instrument, this is the mutual work with local newspapers, writing of the articles in the local newspapers. And uh, we also can put information into the local newspapers about all our events of our organizations, of our church. Also, articles about testimonies uh, um, with testimonies of people. And uh, all in all, we published about 300,000 uh, articles about changed destinies. Also, we use uh, local city um, uh, town portal for writing articles with testimonies of the people as well. This year, we have started a new project of European magazine and the aim of this is to write in this European magazine the work of all the social organizations, clubs, all the charitable actions, everything to describe in this uh, magazine. The time has come to speak about ourselves. We are 18 years old and we can be called an organization with which it is good to uh, deal. Our, our motto is everyone should know about us. And also shortly I would like to say, my name is, uh, you know, I'm Olga. Three years ago I was addicted, but nowadays I'm uh, free from addict. I was uh, alcohol addicted for 23 years. They wanted to take children from me. Also, they took a driving license from me because of alcohol addiction. But nowadays, I am the leader of press center. I am free. I study in the academy, uh, in the marketing department. And I serve the Lord. Well done, Golga. Thank you. Good evening, church. My name is Vadim. I am former drug addicted. I am in freedom for eight years. And nowadays, I am the pastor in Berlin city. And I would like to speak about the work and business that we had. We deal with beds for massage. And we have a special system. We influence 14,000 people every day. And about 5,000 people repented already they through uh, went through special programs through special special system with the help of which they know uh, bible god better we started now to work in a new way we started to use the beds for massage uh, for the people from economical structures of our country good evening church my name is vera agnova and uh, I am the product of the work over me, of the, the product of work of Pastor Natalia over me. Because not long time ago, I was uh, a usual mess. I was uh, a cleaner. I was sitting quietly in my house and I was sitting that I had a successful life. But when I came to Pastor Natalia Patapayeva, I realized um, everything was changed. I'm the pastor of the church. I am the leader of the social organization, which is called European Center Success. I am the private entrepreneur and I would like to introduce the following work to you. When Pastor Sunday told that we should start economical structure, then as the obedient disciple of Pastor Natalia, of Pastor Sunday, I said, okay, I'm ready, I agree. Despite the fact, uh, you know, that I never dealt with um, finances, uh, I never was in business, and business it was uh, this sphere which was not close to me. But I decided to be obedient and I started to work in this sphere. And on the 1st of December 2011, we, I started to work in this sphere. So for four months, 
we have already organized 70 presentations that we organize on the highest professional level because we are prepared with the help of home groups, educational retreats by pastors. And through these presentations, 572 people came through these presentations and uh, 42 people decided to join our economical structure. And nowadays, I am the national director in this economical structure. And in this structure, I have 155 uh, employees in this economical structure. These employees are under me. Uh, not everyone can be proud of this number, but it says that we can now feed the children with the help of this economical structure, with the help of this social entrepreneurship. And uh, uh, 150 children are daily fed by us. And I would also like to say that for four months only, we have raised uh, four regional directors in our structure. And uh, uh, four directors are being raised now. Six people got uh, from our company the uh, thankful letters uh, and at the thankful, uh, to addition to the thankful uh, letters, they got iPods. And um, in Europe, I got this uh, reward. Uh, I was the first who got this reward in Europe. been in this structure. And now four people are getting ready to get such prices. You know, when I heard the phrase of Pastor Sunday about the revelation about economical structure is that he thinks that a revelation about economical structure uh, structure is as important as the opening of God Embassy Church, I realized that this is a new movement, this is a new God Embassy Church, which will think that business is uh, the ministry, one of the ministries of the church. And I thank you, Pastor Natalia, for that reformation that you brought into my life because you know the reformation of the whole country starts with the reformation of one person and i am the one who will write the book from the clean lady to the president so such a company we have pastor not all are in this not all they are all in the structure because they realize that economical structure is a great instrument with the help of which it is possible to influence people. For four months, how many, uh, how many uh, uh, not Christians uh, listened? 111 people listened to the presentation. So people who are not Christians come to our presentations and... Uh, 46 people entered our structure, 46 people from the world, and they listened to us. And then, with the help of this economical structure, we speak about God to them, we speak about Pastor Sunday, we give them books of Pastor Sunday, we s ask them what problem they have. They, we ask, we say, you have problems in family. Here you are, the books of Pastor Sunday, the uh, heaven in family. So, you know, Germans, they, Germans they accept quickly, and I see the great uh, grace on this new direction, economical structure. So 46 people, it's just the beginning. While we are here, the new people are uh, being joined, are joining this direction. And we have an aim to October months to, to get 600 people into the structure, 600 people from the world who are not Christians. And this is uh, quite real, you know. And I can see that this is a genius idea that was given to g by God to pastor. Let's praise the Lord for this.
Maybe it's hard to understand, but you know, in Germany, sometimes one person, uh, one, only one person a year can repent, so that the person could leave his or her context. It's not easy in Germans because Germans, you know, they are in depression, but and, and they want to be successful. So it's a great instrument, economical structure. It's a great instrument to influence them because Germans are uh, dreaming to become successful because of the times that uh, is now happening so we have presentations we have system and new and new people are coming and it's so pleasant when you see new people and you can bring new princ uh, principles of kingdom of God and you can suggest help to them and you can help them to succeed in their lives it is really great and also you can be the salvation to solution to any problem of them financial problem social problem um, family problem uh, drug addiction problem so we can reach all the people of all nationalities turkeys uh, mermons we can we can reach and influence all the people thank god pastor So we have the, uh, such a small report, it's just the beginning, so just a small report, small results, it's just the beginning, Pastor. And you know, I was ashamed and I didn't do this, I just wanted to write, it, uh, to write to you about this, but they are so great, they came with this flag, you know, they are so nice. And I decided that it is from God that what I want to do now, I'm not a poet. But I wrote a, a congratulation letter and uh, I wrote a small poem. Please don't laugh at me. I'm not a poet, but it is from all my open heart. My beloved Pastor Sunday, today you have a, a, you have a great event, and what I want to congratulate, what I want to wish you, of course, to conquer the whole world to go through all the griefs and difficulties, to come out with great fruits, and may all your animals uh, close their mouths, and to, to be the image of Jesus, and to receive all his challenges, and may joy and wisdom be with you, may the higher calling be fulfilled, to glorify God till the end, my dear Pastor Sunday. Uh, you are the part of uh, of the history makers, and you are the history makers. You give us um, you you give us hope, and together with you, we are going through all the difficulties, all the uh, new movements, and all the educational retreats. Uh, prepare new ministers for us to be strong and finding the potential you raise up uh, a new people there is a new army of christians the embassy of god church is a god's plan a new embassy of god church is starting to do something new to come into his gates higher education phds beca became the uh, uh, christian principles and the former drug addicts uh, wants, uh, want to become the uh, part of your team. Thank you for your spiritual children. Thank you that you conquer in this world. You are higher than prophets. You conquer the Satan. So all that uh, uh, court cases, you know, uh, very simple for you. You are going there as for work and uh, and your sons are the arrows, and as a wise, uh, as a wise shooter, you put these arrows into the societies, and our societies will be saved. Your eyes are full of light, and a lot of people found the advice, found advice, and found sense of life in you. The Embassy of God Church. 
uh, always reaches something new and uh, you're trying to reach success, new, uh, new achievements. A Pastor Sunday is a new reformator of the 21st century. Pastor Sunday, you're a great titan, a great, uh, uh, a great son of God. You're a general. You're not afraid of anything. You are standing uh, in front. You're a wise strateg strategic person and you can find uh, um, any decisions. And there is a table that is uh, ready for you. And there is a great rest that is waiting for you. So I'm writing you these words from the nation of the Embassy of God Church. And you are my daddy. I congratulate you on this anniversary and I hug you with love. And we want to to give you this present. Pastor Sunday, please come up here. It is like a symbol that you are a captain. You are a captain of a ship of the Embassy of God Church and it is coming through any difficulties, any, any griefs, uh, Start uh, uh, trying to reach that success, and you're a real, you're a real captain. You're the admiral. Pasta. Pasta. Honestly, you know it is. Uh, uh, a, a, a beer mug, but I believe that it is full with a new wine, spiritual wine, and you can uh, drink tea. There are different flags of uh, 16 lands of Germany. I think that those people who stay here today who were not in a hurry, then you are happy that you are here, yes? Because it is a great example of uh, great workers, hard workers. When I was sitting there, I had different pictures. I can see you as you are giving reports and uh, you did it very concretely and I can see that it was Pastor Natasha who taught you to do this. And the Holy Spirit told me that uh, you are the image of her. And uh, I believe that the same way as she did, you will be the same generals of the kingdom of God. There is a book, God's Generals. It is the first one. And the second one, while I was sitting there, I heard all the reports and I imagine the heaven. I was sitting and once you will be sitting and the heaven should think about all that results, about all that saved people, all that, all that saved souls and God of heavens will look at you and you will be amazed that you could do such a great work and Jesus at the end will stand up and say that you worked hard on earth you saved destinies on that earth you understood why you should you why you had to live and on that earth you worked hard and here you will be in grace you will be in glory
One person said there are 300 people uh, whom they influenced through the culture. And they repented and they received Jesus. I c and I can see those people whom we uh, won't reach. I can see people whom we can't hear and we won't hear them. But the heaven yeah. has uh, its focus on them. I want to live in such a way for heavens to register each victory and each great work that I did here on this earth. Because you know, all that people uh, who live just a simple life, their descendants won't remember them, but I will live in such a way I will do such great work every day, and I will get all the victories every day in such a way that everyone will remember, and the heaven will will register all that or all that work. So let's make this challenge to live this this life. Let's make decisions that I will live in such a way that every day. I would prove the heaven and my heavenly father and uh, that I can do this hard work for him and make him happy. When I come to heavens, when I come to heavens, then the, uh, they will see the fruits of, every, uh, of my everyday life. How many fruit will be registered by heavens? Is there the empty life or are there, uh, or are there fruits? So every day of your life, how many fruits of your everyday life? Or uh, there are some days when it is just emptiness, emptiness. That is why we need to be crazy. We need to be crazy for God. We need to be focused and not allowed to destroy us and not allowed to, to lead us somewhere else, but to be focused on the kingdom of God in our lives. I want you to understand this so much. Oh, Lord, help everyone understand this, to leave us every day and bring fruits every day and for heaven rejoice because we live in such a way that Heavenly Father, our God, could be proud of us. Thank you. I'm proud of you and I believe that God is proud of you also. Be blessed. Thank you. Thank you, our dear pastor. Uh, I was ready for preaching, but I think that it is the best preaching that could be. You know, we had an apostolic uh, council fast, and the greatest uh, shock, or I was amazed after that apostolic uh, uh, fast, it is when you were with us uh, uh, the, during that night, when you asked us different questions, and we asked you different questions. And we asked Pastor, how could you honor each person? And he was shocked that we couldn't understand this because the whole, the whole topic, the all topics of that fast was about this. And it is the same as Jesus when he asked, uh, uh, when decide, when he asked uh, uh, his disciples. Uh, how do you receive me? How do you think about me? And I got such a great revelation that is coming from your, uh, from your uh, explanation. Pastor said that the same way as I read the Bible, 
the same way way I read the Bible and I'm thinking I'm uh, thinking what I can change in myself the same way when I speak to people I always think uh, how he can influence upon me and what I can change in myself and Jesus asked his disciples how do you receive me what do you think about me and I understood that you honor people the same way as Jesus honored and you know even the uh, the root of this uh, word honor in Russian it is the same root to read and to honor people these two words have the same root so I understood that I understood that we need just to read Pastor Sunday because he is here with you. You can come to him every day. You can come to him. You can listen to him. You can call him. Uh, you can come to home groups. You can attend educational retreats, and you can read this person the same way as we read the Bible. And I got this revelation, and I was amazed. And all the time, I, uh, uh, when I speak to anyone, I try to read the person. It's really very important to, to learn how to read the person. For example, you can drive your car, and uh, at once, for example, I saw that prostitutes, and at the same time, you can think, uh, oh my God, how could she live in such way? But you can think differently. You can think, what I can do for her, for her life to be changed? Because her changes is my changes. Looking at these drug addicts or alcohol addicts, you can think, okay, it is good that they are free, but you need to read their lives. Because all that, uh, all that guys who came here, uh, there were some people who were, uh, who dreamt them to be free. And you know, it is Pastor Sunday who reads each person the same way as he reads the Bible. And this word becomes the flesh in his life. So thank you, Pastor Sunday. And now I read each person the same way as the Word of God. All the time I was reading you. And what, uh, what I understood during that fast, there was a great topic about fatherhood and sonship. And you know, I didn't have such a question. Uh, all the time I understood that Pastor Sunday is my spiritual father. But during this uh, fast, I understood it, it, it much more deeply. Because I was brought up without my father. He was in prison. I got married and starting from 11 i was seeking for someone whom i can love uh, and i didn't want to be loved i wanted to love but i divorced then i got married again and again i was divorced and uh, you know, all the time I was seeking some man to love them and I didn't find that love. I, I could just suffer and once I met Pastor Sunday and in three weeks I went from my uh, lover and I started to leave. I called my pastor and he, he was just a young man. He wasn't a pastor and I, I thought, who is he? Is he a preacher or where, where is he come from? Uh, where, where did he come from? I didn't ask all that questions because, you know, I felt so pleasant. It was so great for me to be nearby him. And when he uh, uh, met with his friends, they were speaking English and I was so happy. I could understand even a word, but I was so happy to sit and listen to him. I was so happy to be uh, at least one minute with him. And I was uh, amazed. Uh, he was so great. He was smiling and I just wanted to, to be nearby him. And I honored him and I understood the same moment I met him. I stopped thinking about man and I think that it is a mercy from God. It is a great mercy from God because there are a lot of women who suffered of loneliness and not only in our church but you know Christians they are afraid of not getting married but I thought that it is just a mercy, a mercy from God but it's not a mercy because I was seeking not lovers, not husband but I was waiting for father. I was seeking for my father. And, you know, I was seeking for my, I thought that you're my spiritual father, but you are my spiritual and physical father. So thank you, my pastor. You are my daddy. 
You're my real daddy. And I'm proud of you. I would even change my surname to Adelaide. You know, Pastor Natalia Sandeevna. I want, and I want to come back to Ukraine. I think that maybe I will come back because, you know, I want to have a great movement for, uh, uh, for the relatives of drug and alcohol addicted. There was a group for 300 people and now it was stopped, but it's not right. Parents should understand uh, what a great power they have upon their children and in the country. Imagine that moms will be united and I can see in each region, in each uh, regional center, in each village, there should be such a movement for moms to stand against, to stand against uh, uh, all that programs that are paid and uh, we need to change the laws that each school could have the that prophylaxis that uh, that uh, work and that teaching and i believe that if god gives me strength then i will do this here or maybe someone will take the challenge will will receive this challenge I'm happy, I'm happy to be in such a team and I'm happy to be a participant of, of these people. You know, the people whom God chose and I'm so happy that I can tell this. Even if I'm not Pastor Sunday, if I, if I were just uh, the uh, member of this church or the member of the Asher group or uh, I just was a cleaner, I don't know, still I would be happy. It is a unique place, a unique mercy and a unique blessing from God. Yeah. Heavens. Heavens, heavens is smiling to us. Heavens, heavens, smiling to us. And I congratulate you on this. Pastor Natalia, I want to join and I want to congratulate you on this anniversary. Pastor Natalia, we thank you for this uh, encouragement and for this great example to honor uh, our Father. And I believe that everybody will join us. And we thank you very much. And we have such a small present for you. Thank you to the whole German team. See you tomorrow at 10. Be blessed.